Hey, it's Greg Yetter, and I want to do a quick video today about how to make Google Messages really work on your Mac. Google recently announced that you could use Messages on the web instead of on your phone. This is huge news because you've been able to do this on Macs and iPhones forever. Now, once you get an update to your Android Messages app, it's pretty easy to get it connected to the web client, but I want to show you a few things that'll make it an even better experience on a Mac, such as having a dedicated window just for Messages so it's not distracting when you get a text in your browser and you're doing some other work. So the first thing you'll need is Google Chrome, and all you have to do is go to the link that I'll put in the description to download the Google Chrome browser. Now, you don't have to use Google Chrome as your main browser or anything like this, but you will need Google Chrome to do what I'm gonna show in this demo. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is navigate to messages.android.com on your web browser, and then also open up the Messages app on your phone. You should see on the Android Messages webpage a QR code, and you'll want to follow the really quick instructions there. Basically, in the app, you click the little hamburger icon on the top right and click Messages for Web, and then click Scan QR Code, and then you line up your phone with the QR code, and as you can see, it logs me in right away. Um, you'll also want to remember this computer, which you could have toggled in the previous step or just hit OK here, so that way it stays logged in whenever you come up. So already you can send text messages from your computer, but I want to show you something even more advanced, which is having your own dedicated window for Android messages. So I'm going to get out of here, and then I'm going to go down to my dock, and you see that I actually have uh, what looks to be a Mac app for Android messages. So if I click that, it will go to the Android messages website. Now, I put together a guide on how to enable the application shortcuts feature of Google Chrome on Mac. This is something that is available on Windows as far as I know. And you can also get it on Mac, but you have to tweak some of the Chrome settings. And what that allows you to do is create dedicated web applications that don't have the URL bar or anything at the top. So it's dedicated to that. And you'll also see if you go up to the top bar of the Mac that it actually has the name of the app up there. And when you use Command Q, which is the quit application shortcut on Mac, it will actually exit out of the Messages app without getting out of Chrome. You can also see that I have some other apps um, where I've done the same thing, such as Google Contacts and Gmail Inbox, or Inbox by Google. And it's nice because I like to be able to go into these apps dedicated and have them kind of in their own window instead of having them share the tabs with Chrome. I'm gonna link the instructions on how to get the application shortcut in the description, but I'll also walk you through it right now. So what we want to do is we need to change a few settings in Chrome, and the first thing we need to do is put in this Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags command into the URL bar. So I'm going to open a new tab and paste that in. And you'll see there are a bunch of kind of scary looking options, warnings, don't mess with these features. I tried it out, it's okay, but I don't apply any warranty. So what we need to do is we need to enable or make sure that these are enabled, these three different options, which are the new bookmark app system. So what you can just do is you can control or command F the new bookmark app system. On mine it's at the top, but it used to be farther down the list and make sure that it's set to enabled. And then you'll want to do the same thing for allow hosted apps to be opened in Windows. Make sure that's enabled. And then you'll want to make sure that creation of app shims for hosted apps on Mac is enabled. So I'm going to command F to find the creation of app shims and you can see it's enabled. I believe this one was enabled by default for me, but just check it out and make sure it's not set to default or disabled. Okay, so once you've got that, now you need to restart the Chrome browser. I already have these features enabled, so I'm not going to restart, but you have to completely quit. So you have to use the command, command Q, or go to Chrome at the top and quit Google Chrome. Exiting out of the window won't quit Chrome. And then restart the browser. 
And once you've restarted the browser, then you'll want to go to the website you want to create an application shortcut for. So I'm going to go back to the Android Messages app web page, and then I'm going to go into my Chrome hamburger settings menu here and hit more tools and create shortcut is where I need to go to create a shortcut. You'll get a little pop up that pops up and you can give it a name. I just called it messages as you see down here, just messages, but you can call it what you want. For sake of demonstration, I'll call this messages v2 and make sure you select open as window. Otherwise it won't show in its own separate window and then you click create. And then what happens is Finder opens, and it opened in the other window here, but um, Finder opens and you have a new app that's created. Then all you have to do is you just have to drag that app down to your dock and it will live in your dock until you remove it. And then you just launch the app. And here you can see that it came right up and there's Google Messages. The other thing you might've noticed is that I have a dark mode enabled for my app, in general, I like dark modes better because they're easier to see at night and uh, I just don't like fussing with it and I think they look kind of cool. So to get the dark mode, you'll want to go to settings in Android messages and then you'll want to enable the dark theme. Make sure that's switched on and if you don't like the dark theme, you can always go back and turn it off by clicking off. So that's a really quick overview about how to make Android messages better on the Mac. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear from you in the comments and I will see you next time.